The U.S. Capitol Dome, a symbol of America's history of freedom and democracy, is one of the most recognizable structures in the world. Constructed of cast iron and completed during the Civil War, the dome is now 150 years old and has not had a full restoration in its history. The last exterior restoration occurred in the 1960s, more than 50 years ago. Without the proper maintenance and repair, the exterior of the dome continues to slowly deteriorate as it ages and is exposed to the effects of weather. Moisture-generated rust is entering the surface, creating hundreds of cracks and causing deterioration of the structure and its ornamentation. Weathering and cracking of the existing iron exterior allows water to penetrate the dome's outer shell and migrate into the rotunda interior. The water and moisture threaten not only the artwork housed below, but also the iconic apotheosis of George Washington, members of Congress, their staff, and the millions of people who annually visit the U.S. Capitol. The architect of the Capitol's dome restoration project began in the fall of 2013 and entails removing lead paint and restoring the cast iron shell and ornamentation, protecting it from the weather. The project requires the assembly of scaffolding, beginning with vertical towers to the roof and a terrace bridge. Once scaffolding reaches the boilerplate and peristyle levels, work can begin on these areas. Assembly of scaffolding will continue up to the Statue of Freedom, and work on the remaining sections will begin once the scaffolding is complete. The work will take approximately two years, and the majority of work will be performed primarily at night and on weekends to avoid disruption to the business of Congress. A white donut-shaped canopy inside the dome rotunda is also necessary to protect visitors during the restoration. The work for the restoration project is expected to be complete before the next presidential inauguration in 2017. This project will restore and preserve this iconic and historic structure of freedom and democracy for generations to come.